dear all we were discussing tube admitter method in the previous video lecture number 63 i have been discussing about the phasor diagram of tube admitter method so we have seen uh, there are two admitters w1 and w2 which are connected in the first admitter is connected at the line r and y where the second one is connected between uh, b and y it is very clearly visible let us complete the phasor diagram so we have to draw the phase voltage first i'll be drawing you the phase voltage first so i'll be taking the particular slide for only for drawing the phase diagram yes so let me draw v r and first this is your v r and you can write v r phase also no issue v r and second one will be v y n and the third one let me draw v b n you know that the load which we considered is purely r l load in case of r l load we can say that current lacks the voltage current lacks by the voltage at an angle of 5 5 degree if it is ideal case you already studied that 90 degree but in case of r l load it will be 5 degree only current lacks the voltage at an angle of 5 degree now i need to mark the line current let me draw the line current so first i would like to mark ir this is your ir now i am going to draw iy what are lagging because it's an inductive load no r l load this is your iy that is also lagging at an angle of 5 degree then ib let me draw the ib ib is also lagging at an angle of 5 degree hope you got till this point next consider the circuit diagram in the circuit diagram it's very clear that the admitter has been connected between r and y then b and y so regarding the w1 i require v r y w2 i need v b y so how to construct v r y and v b y v r y and v b y are the line voltages how to construct from the phase voltages i can construct line voltage first of all i have to construct v r y so v r y v r y has to be constructed so what you can do is v y n is available here no you can extrapolate v b v y n in the opposite direction let me extrapolate v y n in the opposite direction like this so this is minus v y n so we can draw the resultant how to draw the resultant at the center yes now uh, this must be v r y so do extrapolate the points and construct a parallelogram so what is the angle so total angle will be 60 only correct now 60 degree now this is 30 this will be also will be 30 you can mark the angle accordingly moving on to another watt meter what about another watt meter so regarding another watt meter it has been connected between b line and y so line voltage is vby how to make out vby very easy uh, phase voltage vbn is available here phase voltage vyn is also there therefore i can easily construct it vby so draw the resultant let me draw the resultant okay i'll be drawing the resultant So like this, you can draw, draw, try to draw neatly. Yes, this must be. B B Y. So do extrapolate the points and construct a parallelogram like this. So what about the angle? this must be 
30 degree now. 30 degree. This one also should be 30 only. Total 60 degree, right? Okay. Now we have completed the phasor diagram. Now I need to estimate the total amount of power. So W1 and W2 we have to compute. How to calculate W1? So W1 is nothing but let it, let me draw the W1. So W1 is nothing but what is the voltage line voltage VRY now? Line voltage is VRY. VRY. What is line current? Line current is IR. So VRY is the line voltage. IR is the line current into cos phi. Cos phi, you know, angle between VRY and IR. What is the angle between VRY and IR? I will show you once. Very carefully you can observe. See, the angle between VRY and IR. So what is the angle called? This will be 30 plus 5. Likewise, the angle between VBY and IB, this angle, how much it is? So total 30, this portion is 5, then remaining portion will be how much? 30 minus 5. I will tell you at the time when I am going to write W2. Time being, let me continue this. Okay. Cos, what should I write? Cos 30 plus 5. So instead of VRY, let me write VL. Line voltage, you know. VL into, instead of IR, let me write IL, line current. Cos 30 plus 5. Please call it as first equation. Moving on to the second part, W2. W2 is nothing but the Line voltage is VBY, no? VBY. Line current is IB into cos phi. What is the angle? Angle will be 30 minus phi. 30 minus phi. I already explained how 30 minus phi has come out here. Now, that can be elaborated as instead of VBY, let me write line voltage VL. Instead of IB, let me write line current IL into cos 30 minus 5. So please call it as equation number 2. By considering equation number 1 and 2, let me elaborate the total power. Total power is equal to W1 plus W2. Here, VLIL is a common term. So let me take VLIL outside. VLIL into cos 30 plus 5 plus cos 30 minus 5. That means VL IL into, please elaborate, cos 30 cos 5 minus sin 30 sin 5 plus cos 30 cos 5 plus sin 30 sin 5 like that you will get now similar term can be you can able to add similar term and you can cancel these these terms you can cancel correct no? so it becomes 2 into vl il into cos 30 cos 5 That is nothing but you can elaborate 2 into VLIL into root 3 by 2 into cos. That is nothing but root 3 VLIL. So, the power consumed by the three phase load is root 3 VLIL. In this video, you have learned how to calculate.